Welcome to the culinary scene. My name is Chef Mike, and we're here today with a super easy, cheesy, artichoke stuffed portobello mushroom recipe. We're gonna feature the broil mode on our Wolf Convection Wall Oven. So let's start with preparing our caps. You wanna take your portobello cap, and you just wanna work the stem back and forth, kinda of break it out, and then just use a spoon and scrape away these gills. Now, a lot of people say there's flavor in these gills. My biggest objection is there's some silt and dirt because of where they grow, and taking them out just removes that and makes them a little bit easier to get clean, and they'll often darken something like a light cheese. So once we have them all clean, the next thing we want to do is mix together a little oil that we're going to brush all over them as we broil them. So I'm going to start with um, a little bit of olive oil, one teaspoon of minced garlic. We'll do about a half teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Exactly that many. We'll kind of stir this up a little bit. Now, using the wolf broiler, one of the reasons I chose this recipe for the wolf broiler has to do with how even that broil element is. It covers the entire top of the oven from edge to edge, so you have a lot of room. You won't have any hot spots or cold spots, but it gives you a great even heat across the entire pan. Let's go ahead and preheat this broiler. Now, it is an instant on broiler, so you typically don't need a very long preheat time. Usually two to three minutes is enough, but it is a closed door broil. So the get in element will not even engage unless the door is completely closed. So on our M, we're going to select quick start and then broil. And there's three presets, high, medium, and low. They equate to about 550, 450, and 350 degrees. Now, I, would, I should say you should also place your rack in the position five before you hit start. I've done that already, so mine's already in the right spot. It's not on the top, it's one rack position down. So I'll hit start and we'll let this oven preheat. Again, two to three minutes is plenty. So while it's preheating, let's take our salt, pepper, garlic, oil mixture and just lightly brush these mushroom caps. You wanna make sure you get a little oil all over the gill side of these, just so that everything gets a nice little bathing of oil and seasoning. Garlic and mushrooms are really fine together. You're gonna to like that little bit of flavor in there. Now, if you wanna do this in smaller mushrooms, the, like the creminis, uh, that's fine. Just know you'll have to really watch your broil time. It may go just a little bit quicker. And once I've got them all brushed on the inside, I'm just gonna turn them over, put that gill side down, and brush the other side. We're going to end up cooking them for about two minutes on each side. So we want to make sure both sides have seasoning and a little bit of oil and a little bit of that garlic. That's it. If you need, based on the size of yours, a little more oil, to cover everything, that's fine. You can just add a little bit more oil to your mix, but you do want that garlic, salt, and pepper. Now, our broiler has been preheating probably for about 90 seconds. So by the time we get these brushed, we should be clear to go ahead and put them right in the oven. Now I would describe this activity, see I was a little shy on my oil, I would describe this activity as something you should come to and stay with. It's not one you want to put them in there and go check on something else. Uh, the broiler is very efficient in a wolf convection wall oven, and you want to make sure that you don't leave it unattended so that something gets away from you in terms of its temperature. Okay, everything has been brushed. Now we're going to place these in rack position five in our wolf convection wall oven and set a timer. We'll 
We'll set a timer for two minutes. And go. Now, while they're in there for the first round, let's go ahead and mix up our filling. We're just going to take some softened cream cheese. You really do want this softened uh, so it will mix very well with the other ingredients. I'm going to take about a um, little less than two cups, about a 14 ounce can of chopped artichoke hearts. And uh, you can just get the hearts uh, in the style you desire and chop them yourself. A little bit of shredded Parmesan cheese. A little bit more salt. And a little bit more pepper. And then a little bit of lemon juice. Just to make that all pull together. Fabulous. Now, you want to stir this up minus that seed that jumped in there. All right, so I'm just going to stir this while we wait for that broil to happen on the first side of those mushrooms, and then we'll flip them over. This particular recipe calls for them to be broiled on both sides for just a couple of minutes, two to three minutes, and then you will fill them with this delicious artichoke and cheese mixture. And then from there, we'll top it with some more cheese and put them back in the broiler for a third time for a couple of minutes until the cheese gets all bubbly and brown. So a total uh, under the broiler, uh, two to three, two to three, and two until the cheese browns. It's really quick. You'll see that. So you can really have everything from pantry to ready to eat in under 20 minutes. So this mixture is now, and you can tell this is not just cream cheese, you know, I've got the cream cheese, it's just kind of binding together the Parmesan and the artichoke hearts and all of that goodness there. So we'll leave that there. We'll pull those mushrooms out and flip them over. Now you want to do this carefully because this pan is going to be really hot. You just want to make sure that you're careful when you do this. Don't end up burning yourself. And we're just going to flip them over. So you, now you know why we put them gill side down the first time because we're going to come back and fill these now with the cheese mixture after we broil this side. Okay, back in the oven. Same setting. Same position. We'll set our timer. And when they come out of the broiler this time, we'll fill them with the cheese mixture. That second broil is complete. So let's pull these out and fill them with cheese. Now you can adjust the cook time just until these are nice and tender. So you have a little bit of option here. The other thing I'd like to do is just take a moment when they're here and kind of tip some of the liquid out of the cap because I don't want that underneath my, you're not giving away all the flavor, but I just want to get some of that liquid off of there so that my cheese mixture will be delicious. Now we'll take our cheese mixture and one tip, you should always taste your food before it gets too far along and you can't adjust it. I'm about to put this in here. I want to make sure that it tastes good, right? Artichoke, lemon, salt, pepper. Exactly what I want. Now we're just going to take this mixture and fill these caps. Now, I gave you plenty of mixture, so you can be generous with how you put it on there. But basically, you just want to divide it between your mushrooms. So we get that last one filled and smoothed out. And if you need to shift stuff around to balance it out, that's just fine. And you want to take your freshly grated mozzarella now. You just want to pile some on top of each one of these. This is where the cheesy comes into cheesy artichoke stuffed mushroom. OK, 
Okay, we've got our cheese divided. Across the mushrooms. We're still on the broil, high setting. Now it's time to put this back in there. And for this last part, we're gonna just, it's two to three minutes. Kind of depends on how full they were, how cold your cheese is. But we're gonna look for it to be completely melted, bubbly, and just starting to get some brown spots on top. So we'll put it back in the broiler and set a timer for about two minutes. And if two isn't quite enough, then we'll put another minute more. But at this point, we're going to go until it's nice and brown on top. Let's take a look and see if these are ready. Oh, yeah. First thing to get you is this little waft of cheesy goodness. See those? You got this beautiful browning on these. That just means that they're nice. The cheese is melted and gooey. And now you've got this beautiful brown texture on top. Um, depending on the size of your mushrooms and how cool uh, your cheese was, um, this could be two to three minutes, could be as many as four. Just keep an eye on it when you start to get this browning. You got really nice, really nice cook there. So let's put these on a platter. You got a couple of choices here. If you're doing a meatless Monday, this can be the whole portion. Or if you're doing a, an appetizer, you can transfer them to a platter and cut them in fourths. And they'll stick a toothpick in them. It'll work for as an appetizer. We're just going to put them on this platter. We'll garnish them. Clean up our cheese drops. And there we go. We got a cheesy artichoke stuffed portobello mushroom on the broil feature in your wolf convection wall oven.